Welcome back. Now, fingerprint analyst Sitsa Alberta has raised questions as to why there was only one fingerprint found at the scene of Dr. Neil Agate's cell. The anti-apartheid activist was found hanging in his cell in February of 1982. Security police at the time claimed it was a suicide. The inquests have been reopened. Now, expert witness Sita Albasa is a fingerprint, a fingerprint expert, as we said, and he told the court of the challenges he faced in collecting evidence and recreating the scene in Dr. Agat's cell. That's because the John Foster Square prison has undergone major reconstruction since the 1980s. Now, Albert further questioned the methods used by the security branch in collecting the fingerprint. He says at least three fingerprints should have been collected. The sole fingerprint was found just below the scarf around Neil's neck facing outside of Agat's cell. Now, Albert says this raises suspicions about the nature of Agat's death. Lawyers for Agat's family are trying to establish whether the sole fingerprint found in Neil's cell was planted by security police by using a copy of his original fingerprints taken after his death. Method of lifting the fingerprints was done with, with fouling, as stated by Warrant Officer Lambert. So that is, that is an assumption that I make, and that is also one of the constraints, is that I could not get hold of the original fouling to look at that. Um, then, obviously, other constraints are when we visited the, the cell in question, we, were, we weren't really sure if it was the exact cell where the incident took place in 1982. And um, there were also severe renovations done in the meantime, after 1982, of which one was repainting of the cells, which made the color different. And that is also, I mean, I'm looking at, at black and white photos of the incident so um, I can also just assume that the cell bars and also the cell door looked to be black during the incident and it was resprayed or repainted to a light grey colour when we visited the cells.